I am banished to this mushroom island and I'm not allowed to ever leave or go back to the server's spawn. So I'm moving the entire island to spawn, baby. Whoa! But if I want to pull this off though, we're gonna need some gear. Yeah, I literally have nothing. Wait, how do you get gear on a mushroom island? Um, moving this island to spawn might be a bit harder than I thought. Literally, how do I even get wood? Um... Oh my crumbs, this is jolly good. Okay, now we can do the montage. Now I plan to remove each layer of mycelium. Wait for it to grow and then mine the layer underneath. And it all begins with this mycelium block. Oh dearie me. To even collect the mycelium, you need silk touch. Now this task alone isn't too difficult. The only problem is that I'm on a goddamn mushroom island. The three things I require for silk touch is an enchantment table, 30 levels, and a minimum of nine bookshelves, two of which require sugarcane. How the blummin' hell do I get sugarcane on a goddamn mushroom island? I tried looking underground for sugarcane to see if it hopefully spawned. It, it didn't spawn. But in desperation, I tried looking at the edges of the island, which was obviously futile. Sugarcane can't even spawn on mycelium. Sugarcane spawned on mycelium. What the fuck? This is only one of the items we need. Leather is still a requirement for books. Now I could kill all the mushroom cows on the island, but do you want to know a silly fun fact? Mushroom cows don't respawn. If I kill all the mushroom cows on this island, I only get 15 leather out of the minimum of 28 I need for silk touch. I gotta find a way to breed the cows, but I'm on a mushroom island. It's literally impossible for me to get wheat seeds without grass. Literally, how do I get enough leather for silk touch. I kid you not, one piece of glitched grass spawned on the mushroom island. Give me a seed. What? What? I swear this isn't staged. Please don't say it's staged. Please. Please. I swear. Please. With the single seed, we can get a bloody bunch of wheat, which we can use to breed the cows in the pit of doom. You are about to have the worst life you could imagine. But worse. Oh, and if you're wondering why these mushroom cows are regular cows, that's because this guy, Wyra, sheared them. Yeah, you can shear mushroom cows. Pretty odd, innit? Now, you might be wondering who this Wyra fellow is. Honestly, we're still trying to figure that out. He's like a lost child in your local Tesco. But Wyra is the sole reason that I'm even banished to this island in the first place. You see, in the last Outcast episode, I turned everyone's chests into barrels. Because chests are stupid and dumb and stupid and dumb and stupid and stupid. Wyra didn't like that one bit. So he held a court case with every member, took away all my items, and banished me to this stupid bloody mushroom island. So that that's why I'm moving this entire island to spawn. Because if spawn's a mushroom island, then technically I'm allowed to step foot on it. I just gotta get this bloody silk touch first. So, cow montage! Yay! I... I slipped. But on a side note, silk touch! Yay! Now, what do I name you? First message after this is what I name my shovel. Go. Now. Hello, Raylan. Me and you are going to remove this entire mushroom island. So, uh, get ready for a silly old trip. Yo! This is Rasmus. And he wanted our help with a project he was working on. What's the project? Well, I'm trying to get a netherite house for my Brody, right? Basically, in one week, Rasmus was doing a netherite mining competition in order to get loads of netherite for his pet axolotl, McBrody. Listen, he's weird. It, it, don't judge. But I was given the task to steal all the netherite and then skedaddle away. And then at the end of the event, give it all back to Rasmus. And in return, I would get an IOU, which means he has to do whatever I tell him to do as a one-time use. Oh, Rasmus, IOU. Boom shagalaga. This competition was also taking place 5,000 blocks away in the nether. So he gave me some stuff for the journey. Uh, I'll, I'll give you everything you need. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm guessing you don't have an elytra and rockets. Gotcha. Uh, let me get that real quick. So. Wait. Wait, 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 w
Take these two. And then I'll call you what I need. I'll show you the location you have to go to. Go through another portal, right? You're gonna have to leave your island. Steal all the ancient debris and then leave. Okay. Okay. Yay, we did it, guys. We did the best of the proposal. It went all right. Other than the fact that she used her <laughs> my ending chest. I didn't think about that. Well, this meeting went absolutely fantastic, mainly because Rasmus is a bloody idiot, but these items will definitely come in handy and make our time on this island not as painful, especially with the pretty pink wood. Oh, wow, lady, so pretty. Oh, look at the pretty wood, yay. And the shulk boxes give us a proper place to actually store the mycelium. So let's get to mycelium in the ning. I mean, let's, let's get a, like, I, montage. Oh no, Raylan is really low durability. Um, yeah, so that was a bit of an oversight. I kind of forgot about my shovel breaking, and I don't really know how to repair it. Okay, that's a lie. I kind of do know how. Raiden has the enchantment mending on it, so XP equals durability. But how do we get a sustainable income of XP on a bloody mushroom island? Well, I have one idea. We can use a spider farm. Yeah, in a cave I came across a spider spawner and I noted down its coordinates to use later on. And right now is later on. So if I just look around here and no oh, whoop it it's the spider spawner. Now to actually make the spider farm, we need to mine out a large area. And to be honest, I'm way too lazy to do that. So we're gonna cover the spawner in obsidian and then blow the area up instead. This is definitely safe, don't worry. This is gonna be splendid. Jolly good. Then we just fill in wall one, two, three, and four. Then we remove the obsidian around the spawner and mine the floor underneath. Where the bloody hell's my spider spawner? <sighs> listen. Actually, no, don't listen. I have no excuse. I'm just stupid as hell. Okay, I broke the spider spawner. How the hell do I get XP now? Well, another method of getting XP I tried was fishing. Bro, this is slow as hell. The only other method I could think of was using an all mob farm, but it's a bit risky. See, I can't leave this mushroom island and hostile mobs can't spawn on a mushroom island. Meaning we can't make a mob farm without a spawner. And I kinda blew mine up. So in order to build this mob farm, we would have to come off of the island. So that's exactly what I did. Listen, if it gets destroyed by Wyra, then um... Womp womp. Rightio, um, please work. Please. Pretty please of a cherry on top. Please. Yippee. Now we can repair Raylin. Let's go. By this point, I've gathered a routine of mining mycelium, using the mob farm, mining mycelium, using the mob farm. Oh, and mining mycelium. Now, I plan to fill a minimum of 12 shulker boxes worth of mycelium in order to guarantee that the entirety of spawn can be turned into a mushroom island. Oh, by the way, that's a casual 20,736 mycelium. Yay! You know, it would be pretty funny if we could get 20,736 subscribers. Please, 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 I'm begging you, please. Progress towards the 20,000 mycelium was going absolutely fantastic, but nothing could prepare me for what another server member would do. <laughs> you better be on this island, Estella. I up. am. What, what? This is Wyra. You've met him before, you know? The stupid panda that sheared my cows and took away all my items and banished me to this goddamn mushroom island. Yeah, that guy. How do you get this wood, huh? Did you leave the island for this? I have not left the I I can assure you, I have not left the island a single time. Wyra was just a tad bit angry that I had wood on the mushroom island. I don't know, maybe he doesn't like the colour pink or something. But I couldn't tell him that I got wood from my ender chest, because then he would demand for all the items from my ender chest. So I used a very advanced strategy called lying. Um, I found him in a mine shaft. Mine shaft? I know for a fact you can't get cherry trees at a mine- Tazo, are you helping her? No, I'm actually Hello? not. I don't know how she got these trees. She's got cherry trees. Cherry trees Wait, how the mine shop, which means someone else is hot. Who? Tell me right now. I can't say. What do you mean you can't say? Listen, I heard the phrase snitches get stitches when I was younger and I ain't getting no stitches, bruh. They're expensive. And besides, Rasmus didn't even intend on helping me. He's just stupid and placed an ender chip. But this is really bad. It's clear that Wyra doesn't like me talking with any of the other outcast members under any circumstances. I guess you could say I've been outcasted from the outcasts. 
Vyra is the main person stopping me from entering spawn or even speaking to another person entirely. He doesn't want me to have stuff, he doesn't want me to have friends, and after all he's the one who banished me here completely alone in the first place. And me refusing to tell him who quote unquote helped me got him really hissy fissy and he was just not having it blood. Everyone follow me right now, I'm done. Uh, that's so funny that we're constructing this maximum security prison just on your front lawn. Oh, so Vyra's building a prison to scare and enforce me into to being alone. And on top of that, he's breaking my trees! I like my trees! Give me them back! Wait, how them back. does she have shulker boxes? Wait, what? Shulker how do you have shulker boxes? boxes? You're actually cheating! You are the mob grinder! Wait, you yeah. left the island! No, this is still on the island. No, it's that not! not on the, that mob That's not on the, on the island! island. The island! This is an island! That's the ocean! The ocean I'm giving you, you know one what? last chance. Uh -huh. Don't leave the island. Well, fumble buttons. Now our mob farm is entirely useless. Our only way of repairing Raylin is killing random mobs in caves or building an AFK fish farm. It may be slow, but at least I can watch something in the background. By the way, I'm in a subscriber race with Tazo to 500,000 subscribers. And this line currently shows how close I am. No, not the blue line, the red line down here. Yeah, I'm literally over 300,000 subscribers behind, but I think it would be really funny if I could somehow pass him and take the 500k title for my own. I mean, it literally won't happen, but um... Silly! Right now, I'm currently making a secret room to store all the mycelium, as there's a very good chance that Wyra will take it all from me. Now, I've already collected a few shulker boxes full of the sweet, sweet mycelium, but something I'm concerned about is how long it'll actually take to turn spawn into mycelium. If I'm caught while turning spawn into mycelium, then I will instantly be killed, because when Wyra banished me, he announced that I was killed on sight. So to get an understanding on how long this will take, I'm going to turn a random smaller island into a mushroom island. If I get caught while doing this, then my booty is getting absolutely killed. No questions asked. Okay, let's begin the timer. Yay! That took 10 bloody minutes. Oh no. Spawn is literally like 10 times the size of this pathetic little island. That leaves an hour and 40 minutes for me to be caught and killed. Yeah, I definitely need people to help me with this. Now, ideally I want two people minimum helping me turn spawn into a mushroom island. And the good news is that I already have one person in mind. Rasmus. Remember how if I helped him with his Neverite competition, he would give me an IOU? So I could use the IOU to have him help me turn spawn into mycelium. I just gotta help him with the Neverite mining competition first. Yeah, I, I kind of forgot about it. Whoops. Okay, so my job is to set off this TNT, then it will explode, and then everyone will go over to the explosion and be distracted. Then I go and steal all the engine debris from these barrels, and then skedaddle away without anyone seeing me. Okay. Oh. oh! Oh my god. I'll be taking that. That's so Wait, who was random. laying that? Who laid that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 he dies here, look, it's like, the zombies burn all the stuff. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> so I may have ruined Rasmus' event and exposed to everyone that he was working with me, but it's fine. I can still use the IOU Rasmus gave me regardless of him agreeing or not. Actually, no I can't. Before the event, I put the IOU in an ender chest. And I have no way of getting an ender chest other than Rasmus placing one down. But he'll probably be nice and place down an ender chest for me. P probably. Rasmus, come here. Come here. Stand for 10 blocks away from me at all times. Fine, I, ju I just need the ender chest for one thing. Why? Give me one good reason I should give it to you. Now, of course I can't tell him that I want his IOU. I just ruined his entire event and he will absolutely not place down the ender chest if I tell him I want the IOU. I need the ender chest for something that Wyra gave me. I don't believe that. Why would I hate you? You made a whole prison. He's streaming it. You ruined my thing. You ruined the fact that I was gonna get another right. No, and everyone you was still have the. No, no, you yeah, still have the. Right. Right. Don't, don't go closer to me. Don't go closer to me. Don't go closer to me. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Oh wow, Rasmus is a lot more angry than I thought. I can't even go ten blocks close to him. What? What the hell is this goddamn restraining order? So not look at me. One wrong move, and this energy just goes. Tell me right here, right now. 
Why do you need it? I need that IOU. I can't turn Spawn into a mushroom island by myself. I need a team. But I can't tell Rasmus that I want the IOU, but I need him to give me the IOU. But the IOU's in my ender chest and it's because of something Wyra gave me. I can't trust you. I think I'm just gonna leave. That's crazy. Anyways. Well, fiddlesticks. How do I get the IOU out of my ender chest if I can't even get an ender chest? <sighs> Wait a minute. Please, Wyra, please. Please have an ender chest. Please. Please, 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 please. I'm begging you. Please, please. Hey, Stanana, can you flick that switch which turned you into a cringy wannabe villain? <laughs> Doing an oh. evil laugh. <laughs> yeah, that one. So I forcefully recruited Rasmus, and that officially gives us our first member. Out of two. Who the blummin' crikey cruise is gonna be my next member on the team? Like, the entire server hates me, dog. Okay, so like, do that thing where I suddenly have a solution to this problem. This is Cyan, and I have a proposition in which he may accept in order to help us turn Spawn into a mushroom island. You see, on the last episode of the Upcast, I made everyone on the server do parkour. If they beat the parkour, I would give them their chest back, and Cyan was one of the people who failed the parkour, forcing him to use barrels for the rest of the server. Well, I mean, he technically completed the parkour, but then did this weird thing called being selfless, and then gave me his chest so that everyone else could get their chest, but, 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 but for simplicity's sake, he failed, okay? So, if I give Cyan his chest back as a reward for helping us turn Spawn into a mushroom island, then he might help us, maybe? Listen, it's a slim chance, but it's literally all we've got. What do you want, Barrel Bandit? I want to talk with you. So I explained to Cyan our whole plan, our whole shabode, if you will. And he said, I mean, honestly, that sounds pretty dope. Oh, wait, oh, wait, what? Was that, that easy? I mean, it's already been overtaken by Skulk, so like, I mean, wait, what? Huh? If it becomes mycelium, kind of, what's the difference? Spawn's been overtaken by Skulk. Yeah, so the Outcast spawn is currently completely overtaken by Skulk. You know, I do wonder who may have done that. Well, I mean, it doesn't really affect us too much. We just gotta break Skulk now instead of grass. Anyway, Skulk aside, Cyan was willing to help us for his chests back. And that officially makes the three of us team. Place down lots of mushrooms in spawn because I want to get unvanished because it's like really lonely out here. Like and subscribe, cheese. Listen, it's a good team name, okay? Anyways, tomorrow the three of us will turn spawn into a mushroom island and I will finally be unvanished from this stupid island dark. Like, it's been so annoying. This island is stupid. Stupid, Evil layer time. Oh my uh, god. This is such a disappointingly no. not grand reveal. This is the best I could do on a mushroom island. And now, to spawn! Let's go! Yay! Look at what we have Yo. accomplished today. We did, we did it. Everything is mushrooms. I'm on Everything is mushrooms. Mushroom. Does this mean I get my chest back? Yeah, you can have chest now. Whoa. Are you, please? Yes, I am. I'm a free man. After I turned spawn into a mushroom island, a familiar face showed up. That's what are you doing? Hi, Wara. What are you doing? Oh god damn! I oh, cannot wait what are you, two seconds. What are you doing? I'm unbashed. No, you're not. By who? Under whose authority? The court case said you are only allowed to enter Mushroom Islands. What's this island? It's a Mushroom Island. I am on a Mushroom Island. You can't kill me. Myra, 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 Myra. My right, body is mad as hell. If you're so confident about me having to go back to the other Mushroom Island. Shouldn't we have a vote? If you're oh, yeah. in the Who right- yeah, your voters? Tazo? Miles? Rasmus? Mm -hmm. If you're in the right, then everyone will vote with you. If I'm in the right, everyone will vote with me. Let's see if I get thrown in the prison, or I get to stay here. Fine. Basically, you were supposed to stay on the Mushroom Island, your present, which violates the rules. Now, your argument for this is that you turned spawn into a huge mushroom island. The voting is whether that is a legal action or not. No, no right. for Estalina should be locked away in prison. Yes, or she should be freed. Yes. Wait, does Estalina get to vote on her own? No, Estalina doesn't get to vote. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Sorry, okay. 
Okay, Why, bro, I will you count, can count them up. I will count them up. Who the fuck wrote maybe? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put the maybe in the yes pile because you are heavily outvoted. You're going to prison. No. God damn it.